Hey guys, it's Marcus here from blogprofitnetwork.com and today I have a site review for you and what we're going to do is we're going to use this site review to show you exactly how to monetize a blog. That is, how to make your blog convert so that you can make more money. And what we're going to do today is we're going to take a look at one of my student sites and you'll notice that I do this quite often and this is one of the perks of being a Simple Sites Big Profit student or a Blog Profit Network student is you could submit your sites to me and have me review them and tell you how to make a bunch of money with your sites and blogs. So go ahead and hop over there and join those when you're ready. For right now we're going to go through and we're going to show you the 10 tips to monetizing your blog. Now the blog that we're going to be looking at today is driverslicenserenewal.org and first I'd like to give you a little backstory on this blog so you know where we're coming from. First and foremost, he is getting traffic via Google AdWords for the word driver's license renewal. You can see his ads here. You can see that so far he's gotten about 335 clicks from his ad to his site. So his ad is doing a good job of converting people over. Obviously this one's doing a lot better than renew your license online. We also have uh, the grid tracker that's showing the stats on these two advertisements here that's using the plugin that is available with my program called Smart Affiliate Ads. And you can see that this one is getting some clicks. We're getting about 81 clicks, or 61 clicks out of 81 impressions. One of them got about 92 clicks out of 300 impressions almost. And we can see on the Google Analytics what's going on and what pages they're going to. So it looks to me like most people are leaving without clicking anything. This is a very, very common problem with bloggers who are trying to monetize their blog. So we're gonna show you my 10 steps on how to fix this and how to start making money. Because up to date, you can see he's gotten about 335 visitors and he has yet to make one penny off of his site. So let's go ahead and dive in and see if these 10 steps can help him monetize his blog in an easy way. Step number one, use a theme that helps the user see what they are looking for fast. We have to take a look at our theme and say, is this theme complementing why they're here in the first place and what we want them to do? Number one, these people are here because we could see in the advertisement he had, they are here because they want to renew their driver's license online. They don't want to have to go to the DMV. They want to print out the form, mail it in, and renew their driver's license online. So the best thing to have here would be like a download button saying, download the form, fill it out, and print it, you know, stuff like that. So what we want to do is we want to take a look and say, does the theme complement? Well, first and foremost, we see the theme has the title up here. It's got some links here. It's got this stuff, which looks like advertisements, and it's not really doing a good job of bringing our visitors into our content, into what we want them to see. Now, the way I like to do it is I like to choose a theme that doesn't break up the content and make it look like segments. You can see here how this headline looks like a segment, this bar here looks like a segment, it looks like the stuff we're supposed to read is over in this content box, and then this stuff over here looks like advertisements. We don't really want to have that, and of course it breaks it up down on the bottom. We don't really want to have this kind of thing. What I like to do is I like a very clean theme with our logo header up on the top, links as our menu. Notice how I use links rather than these big bars here. We also have the content, and the sidebar looking like part of the same site. So this looks like other options rather than, hey, there's some advertisements over here, go click on the ad so we can make money. Okay, everything on your blog must lead the visitor to what you want them to do. So what I would like to see here on this one is we're gonna go ahead and use the clean lines theme, which you can get over at simpleblogtheme.com, and we're gonna make this a little bit easier to look at. So now we can see that already with this theme, we have uh, the user's eyes going to what we want. Driver's license renewal, driver's license renewal information and resources. He's got his links down here that look like links. He's got his ads over here as well and his ads over here. Now what we wanna do is we wanna focus on really what the user wants and why they're here. So step number one is use a theme that helps the user see what they're looking for fast. Remember, flashy themes might look good, but they're also going to hurt your conversion if the visitor can't find what they want right away. Number two is to choose a column layout that fits the action you want your user to take. So for example, when I look at this, the actions I want my visitor to take is I want them to click on the ads and I want them to go to other pages to get the information that they want. 
So having this trending stories and everything here is not gonna do very good because this isn't what the user wants and they don't know what a trending story is. Now, we do have a two column layout and you'll notice that you can have several different theme layouts in your WordPress blog. For example, if I was creating this in Artisteer like I did with this theme, we can go for a sheet, or I believe it's under layout, and go to layout, and we could do like a three column layout where we would have two different blocks over here. Uh, we can have a one column with a block over here. We can have, a, or two column with a block over there. We can have a one column with a block over here or we can have the block on the uh, right hand side like we have now. Okay, I usually like to use the block on the right hand side and this is where I would put my call to action if I was gonna have them opt in, uh, join a mailing list, uh, click on a banner or something like that. I would have that over in this side of my blog. So very important that you choose a column layout that is going to complement what you have. I see a lot of people using three column layouts when they don't need to, which just confuses the user. So make it clean, make it easy, make their eyes draw into what you want. And as you can see here, it's already doing a lot of difference and it's drawing the eyes to the ads rather than, hey, what do I look at? Okay, if the eye is confused, your visitor is gonna leave and you're not going to make anything. So step number one, choose a theme that helps your users see what they're looking for fast. Number two, choose a column layout that fits the action you want your user to take. Number three, your site title should double as your main headline. Remember his other theme had it saying driverslicenserenewal.org, which says nothing to the user, right? I don't know what a .org is. I don't care what your domain name is. All I care about is where am I gonna get the information for me? And when he sees something like driver's license renewal on the top and images that complement that, now he's gonna say, okay, well, I'm on the right site. This is what I want. And then of course it says driver's license renewal information and resources, which is also what he wants. So that means he's gonna be drawn into our content even better. So again, look at those columns. Your site title should double as your main headline. So your site title should not just be, hi, welcome to my site. It should be the main headline of what you want your visitor to do. So reiterate why they're there in the first place. If your ad says, click here to renew your driver's license online, they should see very clearly, renew your driver's license, you're in the right spot, okay? Because if they don't see that, they're gonna think they're in the wrong place and they don't care how much you paid to get them to come to your site, they're gonna leave. Number four, you wanna make your graphics and advertisements complement the direction you want your visitor's eyes to take. Notice how on a blog like this, I am directing your eyes to the main content, which is right here. Okay, everything else is secondary links that look good, but the main content is what I want you to see. Here on this site, we wanna do the same thing. Now it's kind of all over the place right now because of these images and this stuff up here and on the side, there's not really a flow of where we want the eyes to go. Okay, so we wanna change this up a bit and take a look at his content and say, well, what do we want these people to do? Number one, the way he's gonna make money is by taking the people from these ads and putting them up over to his AdSense page to have them click on auto insurance. Okay, that's good, we want them to do that. But they're not here to do that, so we have to do a little bit of work. Also, what they're wanting is some way to renew their driver's license. So what I would do is look for a different affiliate offer. Now I want you to remember that there's always affiliate offers that you can creatively add to your site, to your content, to make money, even in markets where people think there's no money. For example, they're not going there to buy a driver's license, and even if they were, you're not in the position to sell it, so you're not gonna make money there. However, you can offer them forms and tools and tips and things like that. Now, taking them straight from here's how to get a driver's license to an insurance advertisement is not gonna work. They don't understand that, okay? Very important. So, what we wanna do is we wanna make our graphics and advertisements complement the direction you want your visitor's eyes to take. For example, what I would do is I would start this driver's license renewal online. Instead of having all this content here, we wanna click on edit. I would go ahead and move this grid tracker ID, which is his advertisements. I would move that down towards the bottom here. Okay, so we're gonna put that down towards the bottom, which is gonna engage them into the text more. And you can see that they're down on the bottom now, which looks a little bit better. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to try to get them into something that's gonna help them with their driver's license renewal. 
For example, we could see here at OfferVault that the Get Forms Online toolbar pays me $3 every time someone downloads it. It's free for the user, and if we preview the page, we can see that it is, in fact, a way to get different forms. For example, transportation forms and DMV forms and things like that. So they're going to get all this stuff. You can see DMV forms is right here, which is great, right? This is exactly what they want, and I get paid $3 when they download it. So first and foremost, what I would want to do is I would want to highlight that on the page. So instead of having something like driver's license, blah, 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 I'm going to put something like this. I'm going to go edit. I would go in and put how to renew. And I'm going to do this in visual so we can see what it looks like. How to renew your driver's license online, right? Step one. Click here to download the proper forms using your free Get Forms toolbar. Okay, so we'll click there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reiterate step one because we're already making money in step one, right? Once they click and download, we're good to go. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reiterate what this is and we'll go ahead and do something like we can take a screenshot and use this little uh, DMV form here. Uh, we can go ahead and take a screenshot of the download free install button here like this, right here, right, free download. Okay, very easy to do. And of course, they're gonna get these forms right away. So it is very, very targeted. So we're gonna go ahead and save this image, save as, we'll just call it download form, okay. Uh, and then what we're going to do is just go ahead and put that into our content here. Okay, add media, select files. We're going to go to our pictures where we save that, get our free download button like this. And if I'm going fast, you can always go back and, and uh, watch this video again if you need help with it. But what we're doing right now is we're just going ahead and uploading this little button here so that they're going to be used to it. Now, instead of linking it to a media file or something like that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my affiliate link in this box here. So I'm going to choose custom URL, and then I would put my affiliate link in the box, okay? And obviously this isn't my affiliate link, so you're going to want to go and change this later to your actual affiliate link. We're going to insert this into the page, right, like this. We're going to center it. We're going to make this a little bit bigger because we want them to do uh, step one first and foremost. We'll make it red and... Um, We'll go like this. Okay, so step one, click here to download the proper forms using the Get Forms toolbar. We can even go through and put a copy of what the form looks like, right, like this. Okay, so if we want to make the toolbar the way that we want, we can just take a screenshot like this, okay? And then in Snagit, we'll edit it. We're just going to make it look like a cool little toolbar here by just dragging it like that. See how we just kind of shrunk that? And I'm just using Snagit to work around this. So we'll do something like that. Like this. And then if we want to get really fancy, we could try to make the background white. And then File, Save As, TB Form. And then we're just going to go ahead and upload that into our box as well. So Add Media, Upload, Select, we'll get that TB form thing here. And again, what we're doing is we're trying to engage them, get them what they want, and also make money. So again, with this custom URL, we would put in our affiliate link, okay? So now we have a little image of the toolbar so they know what they're getting, okay? We have the free download so they know what they're getting, um, and really cool. So we can also put like a little sales blurb like with the free, with your free toolbar, you will get instant access to all the forms you need in life right at your fingertips. Super easy. And you can get the DMV renewal form right now. Okay, really cool. Do a little spell check here. So there's step one. Step two would be 
we can give them a video on how to renew your form, your, uh, form or whatever. But step one is the main thing, okay? So under step one, then we can go ahead and put our advertisements uh, if we want to put those. So if I wanted to put the grid tracker there, I can go ahead and do this and say uh, bonus tip. If your insurance is not up to date, you cannot renew your license online. Click below for my insurance update guide. Okay? And then of course we're taking them to the page with the buying auto insurance where they click on the ads and we make money. Okay, very simple. Again, you're going to want to do exactly what I'm doing on the uh, driver's license renewal site on this site that way you get more clicks on your ads as well right same kind of thing get rid of these themes that break up your content and make it actually make sense for them okay now let's go ahead and save this update it and take a look at what it looks like we'll just go to our home page here now we have driver's license renewal driver's license renewal now notice how your eyes cannot not see this Right, step one, click here to download the proper forms using the free Get Forms toolbar. Now, what I would do also, because I don't like the way that this lined itself up, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take a screenshot of this, okay? This is why Snagit is such a good tool for editing your blogs and stuff. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit this in Snagit, and I'm just gonna make it on one line, okay? So I'm gonna go like this, move this over here, Okay, then I'm gonna stretch this out a little bit, right like this, shrink it, and then we're gonna have it on one simple line like this, okay? And we can even put like a little blurb under it if you wanna say like, you know, download or whatever. Um, you can make it very, very simple. So if you wanted to add text, you could do like this and put something like, um, get your license renewal form instantly okay we'll make it a little bit smaller so that they can see it here All right, like this there we go okay get your renewal form instantly we'll underline it make it blue so it looks like a link and we can go through and the things I'm picky about is like making this up higher like this. Okay. The reason I did that, oop, let's see, this little fill tool here. All right, we'll get rid of him like that. And then we'll fill it and then we'll go back. Hopefully we can get him back. We'll copy him. There we go. And then we'll just fill this in and then paste our, our text here like this. Okay, now what this is gonna do is it's gonna help make these people convert. So we'll just call this save as toolbar form two. Okay, now when we go in and add this to the page, instead of having it like this, watch how much better it looks. And again, a lot of this stuff is just trial and error messing around until it looks really good. Try it out, see how it converts. If it converts good, see if you can make it convert better. Right? Very simple. It's all the basics of market testing. And we're just going to add this new one here. Again, your affiliate link would go in here. So we just get our affiliate link from uh, whatever affiliate uh, network we're running with. Okay, and we're going to put that right in here. We'll custom URL, insert in the page. Now, uh, let's see, we want to get that. We're going to make it big again. So we'll go upload, select, go like this. And we want to make sure that it's uh, full size. Okay, again, custom URL, put our link in there, insert. And now you can see that it looks a lot easier, right? So now what we're doing is first and foremost, when the visitor comes to our site, they see, hey, step one, click here to download the toolbar, get your license renewal form. They can click that, they can click here. As soon as they click that, bam, they go over to uh, the forms. If they download it, 
then we get our three dollars for getting them to download it and we are happy campers again it doesn't take that many people to download this for us to make a lot of money now remember um, these types of offers can be found on offer vault if you want to learn more about CPA affiliate offers with downloads, make sure that you're getting the ones that are very safe, no spyware, no junk like that. I always use MindSpark, which is powered by ask.com. They have the best toolbars, they pay well. And if you wanna learn more about this CPA type marketing, go ahead and click on the video that I'm gonna pop up on your screen right now. You can watch that, go through all that stuff and um, go ahead and get Blog Profit Network or Simple Sites Big Profits and start making money with me. Very easy to do. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're looking like here. So you can see that this is a very easy way to get paid on just about any niche that you can think of. So it's really cool, you just get them to download and you make money. Next up, let's go ahead and take a look at our next step. Number four was make your graphics and advertisements complement the direction you want your visitors' eyes to take. Notice how the first thing they see here is the toolbar, right? They skip past everything and they see the free download because that's what they want, which is the form. Okay, other things we can do here, like in number five, is create a profit flow path when asking your visitors to click to a different page or opt in. Now, you have to decide whether you want to build a mailing list of people who are simply looking to renew their driver's license. This is something you can do, and you can you know, give them tips on driving and insurance and stuff like that if you want. However, uh, some of you guys will just want to go ahead and make fast money on it without managing a mailing list, and that's good too. Some of the things that I like to use to make people click through to offers and other pages are my interactive tools. And the interactive tools you can get with the plugins that we give you as part of Blog Profit Network membership. You can just go to goblogprofit.com, get all those tools, ask for site reviews, excellent deal. I'll put that video up again for you too if you wanna click that and go ahead and get started. We can help you make money as a CPA affiliate blogger. Very cool. But what you're gonna notice is that in your plugins that we give you as part of that, like Squeeze Blogs Pro, you'll notice that we have the custom search and the drop down box. Now these are very good because I can actually go in and add a drop down box to my site that says, hey, choose what state you're in so we can direct you to the right form or choose the right state for your auto insurance. Okay, or we could use the custom search to say, put your zip code in and we'll take you over to uh, the form for your area. Okay, so very easy to use. If you wanted to do a drop down, you would just do add new you could create your drop down here, say something like, you know, um, choose state, okay? Default value would be choose state. And then of course you would just enter uh, every state, CA, uh, you put your URL, which would be to your uh, buying auto insurance online form site, okay? Very simple, or you could take them to a specific page for California or something like that, very easy to do. And you can see that once you're done, your zip code box or your drop down box will look just like this. And when they click on the thing, it will run their state, it'll take them over to your page. Now, very important when you're doing this, they're gonna be expecting to see uh, something state specific. So you can make a little page for California, put the link to the California uh, driver's license ID uh, or form or whatever. And then you can also give them like PDF downloads or reiterate that they need to get the uh, get forms online as well. So it's very easy to do. You can use it as like a dummy box that goes all to the same page, or you could do really fancy stuff and lead them to other pages. With the zip code or with the zip code box, you could do it a little bit differently um, because what it'll do is it actually allows you to put something in the box. So if we were to go like this, and I say, well, I want to make a little box where they can go and look for uh, insurance in their area, right? You could create this and basically go add new, create a name for yourself, call it like insurance, right? Like this. And then you can make it instead of saying get instant access, you can make it say something else if you want. And then all you have to do is put the URL to the offer. So for example, if there's like a zip code offer or something like that, that allows you to put the zip code in it, right? Like if we were to go to Google and uh, type in something like uh, DMV and a zip code 95687, right? What we're gonna see is that the URL has the zip code in it. So all I would have to do is copy this, right? Like that, 
whatever page it's on, as long as the search engine works with that code, all you would have to do is go into your uh, Squeeze Blogs plugin, put it like this, and where you want that zip code, you would just put search term, right? Very, very simple to do. Once you save it like this, it's going to give you the code and we just do our code here like this, okay? Put the code on our blog. And again, if I'm going too fast for you, um, I would highly recommend that you get a Blog Profit Network because you get all these plugins and we show you how to use them. So we would put the uh, zip code box right like this, update, and then what's going to happen is now they put, obviously you would put enter zip code, they would put their zip code 956, seven, one, or whatever, they hit search, they go to the page with the zip code in it, okay? Really cool. Now, this can be used with affiliate offers, it can be used with custom pages, whatever you want, and you can edit the sizing and everything, colors and stuff like that as well. So these are little plugins that you can use uh, to your advantage to make this look really good, okay? For right now, um, I'm not gonna use them. If I was going to put them on the site, I would have them up in the sidebar. Okay, so what I would do in this example is I would have a bunch of arrows and say, put your zip code uh, to find whatever. Okay, very easy to do. Next, let's go ahead and take a look at step number six. Right there, we were creating a flow path. Now, the flow path is important because your flow path is not only adding, adding the interactive elements like the search box and the drop down box, but it's also creating the next page, right? In this example, uh, we sent them to Google, we don't want to do that, right? We want to send them to our own page and maybe a link to Google as the secondary thing, okay? That gives us another chance to show our ads, another chance to get them to click, another chance to get them to download the offer, um, and it makes it really easy, okay? Step number six, stop assuming your visitor knows what you're talking about and show them what you want them to do, right? Your visitor comes to your site, and you can't assume that they know why you're offering insurance ads. They can't assume why you're having the toolbar, right? You really have to tell them what you want them to do. Very, very overlooked step that you want to focus on. So stop assuming they know what you're talking about and start from square one, show them what you want to do. Step number eight, remind them why they're there in the first place and lead them into your content efforts effortlessly. See here how we say, hey, you're here because you want to renew your license. Here's step one. We're already making money in step one. Once we get into step two and three and everything, uh, we're going to add profit centers in those as well. So make it very, very simple. Okay, very easy to go through. Next, um, number eight, make sure you engage them whenever possible. Engage them with those zip code boxes, the opt-in boxes, the downloads, whatever it is you want them to do, you need to engage them because if it's not interactive, it's not engaging, then people aren't going to click on the things. They're not going to fill out your forms. They're not going to do what you want them to do, and you're not going to make any money. Number nine, and I know we're going through the last ones fast. We'll have a follow-up video later. I just want you to get this stuff first. Number nine, subtract. Do not add. Right? Go through your site and see if there's things that you can subtract. Right? Is there anything in here that many states are adopting secure? Yeah, yeah they don't care about that. Right? They, don't, they really didn't want you to know what. That doesn't make any sense, so I'm not going to click on it. Deeply discounted insurance, eh, it's okay. Right? Make your ad stand out. Be like, okay, click here to download the form. Take them to the toolbar offer. Uh, click here to learn about insurance fraud. You know, Make a site about insurance fraud or whatever expensive word to where you're getting them to click on these ads here and make you money. Okay? That's the flip the market method you can learn about as well. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, pop that up for you so you can see how that works too. So, very important. Uh, number 10, lastly, uh, next. Tell them what to do next. After they download the form, tell them what to do next. Go watch this video. Uh, go do this. Uh, go to this article. Um, go to this site. Go to this affiliate offer. Whatever it is you want them to do next, take them to that and show them. So, these steps are very, very important when it comes to making your blog convert better. What you want to do is you want to mix your content with the affiliate offers, right? So many people separate this and it's like, here's my great content and here's these stupid ads you're not supposed to click on. Right? That's not the way it works. You want to make it really effortless. Like right here, I'm teaching you very good stuff and a lot of you guys are already saying, well, I want to buy something Marcus has to offer. 
Why? Because it's the same kind of thing that I'm teaching here. We just give you more of it. Okay, when they come to your site about getting the forms or downloading stuff or whatever it is, you say, hey guys, you know, this content talks about this, but what you really need is this thing here. Okay, very important that everything is in line. So stop segmenting your sites. Don't make them split up and confusing. Make all your content easy and uh, make it very simple to go through, right? When you go through here, there you go, that's it. You're making money right here, done deal. Very simple. Okay, now what I would do also is I would take care of the trending stories. Uh, they don't care what the trending stories are. They don't know what they are. They don't know how this stuff is, is even trending, right? I would either leave this blank, put a zip code box, put an AdSense block, put something easy here, or even reiterate that they need the toolbar, okay? But don't put just trending stories or whatever because it's not going to make you any money, okay? very important now um, I would also go through this edit these ads here okay make this content try to find in each step try to find something that works you'll notice I do this on my blog profit network blog under the affiliate blogging tab right what I do is I make it simple and I want you to look at the iFlow flow here right look at the iFlow flow between this simple theme the links affiliate blogging the images the opt-in and the difference between something like this stuff, right? How can we make this easier? How can we make it more simple? Um, you know, how can you make it uh, step by step and go through? Notice on every step, hey, click here for the free software. Hey, click here for your domain and hosting. Hey, click here for detailed instructions and software. Uh, getting paid, click here for my affiliate software, right? And every step of the way, we're taking them to something that works for us. And we say, hey, if you like this stuff, if you're enjoying it, Go ahead and put your name and email in the box okay so we want to kind of just be relaxed don't be pushy right just be relaxed and tell them what you're offering them right tell them hey here's where you get the form um, you know why would they want insurance what are you going to help them cheap insurance options that work what do you mean work my insurance doesn't work I mean, you know people don't think about that they don't know low cost car insurance is finally here eh, you know i would say something like um, special discount for newly renewed drivers or something, right? Make it flow with the content. So hopefully this stuff makes sense. I'm looking forward to seeing you edit this site and make it really good. Uh, for those of you watching this video, um, go ahead and hop over to blogprofitnetwork.com slash go. That's blogprofitnetwork.com slash go. Or watch the video that I'm going to pop up for you. You can go ahead and get started with Blog Profit Network. That is one of our flagship products that will get you started in a very easy way. You just go to goblogprofit.com and you're signed up, right? You sign up, it's like 127 bucks, and you're in, right? It's dirt cheap and you get help from me. So if you have a blog out there and you're trying to figure out how to make money with it and you're getting traffic, come over and see me and I'm going to help you do it, right? If you see me on live chat, uh, which looks like this little icon here, Right? If you see, that, see me there, say, hey, Marcus, I just watched your YouTube video, and I have a blog that's not making money. What do you think you can do? Right? And I'll take a look at it, and I'll help you out. Obviously, we're going to tell you to become a customer, because that's how I make a living off of helping you. Right? So you're going to want to go do that. So it's a win-win deal. Uh, for the rest of you, follow these steps, get some advice, go through, learn the stuff. Come join me at blogprofitnetwork.com to learn even more, and let's make money online together. And remember, when you sign up at goblogprofit.com, you're going to get all these plugins and stuff anyway. So it's well, well worth it. And we're here to help you. Thanks again for watching. Make your blog convert using these 10 steps. And go ahead and watch the videos that I pop up on the screen for you. Get Blog Profit Network. And let's make your blogs convert so you can make a living as a blogger. Thanks again. See you in the next video.